Here's the last one, verse 20. The seed that fell on good soil, it represents those who hear and accept God's word. And they produce a harvest. 30, 60, 100 times as much has been planted. I mean, turn to somebody right now and tell them, you've got to plant it. You've got to plant it. You've got to plant it. You've got to plant God's word. Here's the last one. So we have the soil of pride. We have the soil of problems. We have the soil of priorities. Here's the last one, the soil of promise. This is the soil and the seed that comes with a promise. And Jesus said, this is the only soil that produces fruit. I don't know. How, we want instant fruit, don't we? But, the, but listen, there's not... I don't care what you make that's instant. Nothing instant is good. I mean, instant pudding. I love instant pudding. But the, other than that, no. Like this pill, come on, let's think about this for a moment. This pill that I started with this morning, instant vegetables. But you know what I found out? It's a supplement. It, it can't take the place of the real thing. It's something that I'm supposed to be taking along with what I'm doing. You, you can't, there's, there is no magic pill when it, when it comes to God's word. You've got to cultivate the soil of your soul every single day. I think one of the reasons that we don't is because we have this impression and we're falsely taught that, you know, every day I'm going to, you know, I'm going to get my Bible and I'm going to open it up. And for some reason we think I'm going to open it up and all of a sudden this beam of light is going to come down from heaven and we're going to hear, oh, angels are going to start singing. Oh, that's amazing. Okay. I've been reading this for over three decades. Can I tell you what a lot of mornings look like for me? I read it. I got nothing. <laughs> yeah. What are you trying to say there, God? Hmm. I, okay. I'm reading, reflect. I'm trying to, I, I got nothing. And so many days are like that. You read, nothing. You read, nothing. You read, I mean, like nothing. Can I tell you this? Keep planting seed. Keep planting the seed. Turn to somebody and tell them, keep planting the seed because here's what's going to happen because this is what happens to me is you read and nothing, you read and nothing, you read and then suddenly God shows up. Suddenly there's, there's revelation from the word. Suddenly there is wisdom. I've been looking for an answer to that. I've been wondering what I'm supposed to do. And there it is. And God is speaking to you. Suddenly peace comes into the room where you're sitting with Jesus and you feel his presence. And you're like, there it is that you don't want to leave that moment. Suddenly there is joy. Suddenly there is confidence. Suddenly there is power in your life. I can't tell you how many times I've been talking with somebody and, and they're going through a difficult time and you'll be at work and you'll be at school and somebody's struggling and then, and then you're talking to them and then suddenly the word that has been planted in you is going to come out of you as a word of encouragement and hope to somebody else. Cultivate the soil of your soul.